Okay, to get news, this is your local election headquarters, but you know that by now. Today is the last day for early voting here in Texas, and while you're deciding of who you should be voting for, one man in Texas has already made his decision to run against Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick. Yeah, that seat isn't up for grabs until 2022, but Democrat Mike Collier, who lost the race in 2018, says he hopes he can lure more voters this time to unseat Mr. Patrick. KETK's Rachel Hackbarth joins us now, and Rachel, does Collier believe he has a chance? Neil and Casey, Collier ran for the position in 2018, as you just said, but he fell short by just five points against Patrick. Right now, Patrick is working on changing the election process with passing Senate Bill 7. This bill would create new restrictions on early voting, how you can receive your mail-in ballot applications, and the distribution of polling places in urban counties. Patrick argues the restrictions for mail-in ballots have actually loosened up. He says this bill is needed because voters no longer trust the system. Repeat this. Nothing has changed for mail-in ballots, election day, or early voting. And anyone who says different is lying to you. Patrick opponent, Patrick's opponent says what he is doing is hurting Texas and how the state is viewed. I'm very worried about businesses losing interest in coming here and creating jobs in Texas. We are getting a terrible reputation, and I know this as a businessman. We are getting a terrible reputation amongst companies around the country as to whether or not they want to actually move and create jobs in Texas. Collier has gone on record saying that he is treating this like a rematch, and he plans to hold Lieutenant Governor Patrick accountable for what he is saying. Collier says right now he has two hurdles. The first is to make up for the five-point deficit that he saw in 2018, and also for his campaign to raise more money. Reporting live in the studio, Rachel Hackbarth, KTK News. Rachel, thank you.